And who might you be? This is Mr. Sherlock Holmes, and I'm Dr. Watson. We are assisting Scotland Yard in a murder investigation. My name's Taggart, but I'm no confirmation for you all. I've got customers to serve. In any case, I see we have a little here, even less. In general, we'll talk about it, not at all. Yes, like every landlord does. Uh. Look at this feather, it's from the quest of a cockatoo, a bird native to Australia. How did it end up beneath the foot trail of your pup? Uh, I don't know, one of my customers has a shop that deals with exotic animals. He might have bought it here. Yes, because a feather like that doesn't really stick out. <laughs> I need this information, sir, and if you are sporting me, man, I just may get it. Uh, just what do you mean by that? I'll play your darts, and if I win, you tell me what I need to know. Well, well, I'm a sporting man, as you say, but I don't play with just anyone. Prove to me you're worth my while, and I will consider your proposal. If you can beat the house, I will pay you. What? I have to play dart now? More? Ooh. Files. Save. Playing. Dot. Are you ready for the dot game now? Not that you beat until all three of those gentlemen at tables. You need to prove that you're worth the challenge to me. Oh. I will pause the game quick and then. Yes, when I ca beat him, I will show you what happens. Yay! I beat the landlord. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> yes, you had to fight him, beat him, and then you can. And now, Mr. Taggart, as you promised, I'm looking for a young man, about 17, well built and quick witted. I'm told he has frequented this e establishment. Don't play a fine game, sir. And as a promise, I believe the fellow you're looking for works for Chemist in Peppington Street. You would do well to act up your questions this way. Thank you, sir, for the information and the game. Yes, the games. He works for uh, alchemists. Alchemists tend to have stuff like arsenic laying around, but well. Let's not jump to early conclusions. I don't think there's anything more of interest here. And I don't know if you can actually cheat at this game because you picked up the dart. Perhaps you could throw it at someone's head or something. Oh well. Uh, leave the main street. I can't help her somehow. Hello again. Come back to buy the flowers mostly, have you? Tuppence for a bunch of violets. No, I'm not going to buy flowers from you because you cannot identify a man for me. So go. Um God Chimist. Yes, let's go to Chimist. Compliment, sir. What a quaint job you have here. Everything in the traditional style with your wares impressively displayed. Why is your head so wet? It doesn't look healthy. <sighs> Thank you. Very kind. Very kind. I'm sure it's that it was in my half the time. Always the best, don't you agree? Nothing changes so much. People still need the same things from arsenic. Ooh, to think. Oxide, I have it all. How oh, may I help you? I have reason to believe that a stock boy can assist me in my investigation. That's as may be, but I guess 
but as you can see, he is working. I don't pay him to gossip with customers, let alone people off the street. Good day. May I please speak with your stock boy, sir? It will only take a moment of his time. I miss money, as they say, sir. We are busy with our inventory at the moment. Another time would be more convenient for him. Good day. Hey! Okay, again, uh, no brainer clue. So we come back later. Well, Kensington Field. No. I don't know why I should go to Perfumery, but let's go there. Perhaps I get something to identify the guy so I can give to the flower girl. I'm not sure. Oh boy. Good day, gentlemen. My name is Bell. If you require an assistant, please do not hesitate to ask. Well, she doesn't really look like a really old woman, but look at this waistline. Sheesh. Can she even breathe? Women, you may knack in half every moment. The assistant. <laughs> Hello, cleaning girl. How are you doing? I'm looking for a certain young man who purchased perfume from the shop recently. Don't, sir. My mistress don't permit me to converse with the clients. If she sees me talking to you, I'm set for certain. Oh well, let's talk with the bell. I'm looking for a young man who purchased some perfume from you recently. I may be able to help you, but scant does he purchase? Or the same. Ah! That is a very popular scent. Of the quality perfumes, it has the most modest price. What does this young man look like? Uh, this is he has copious amounts of macassar oil in his hair. Is he tall or short? I would say he's taller because actually the hair has to uh, reach the door. Is he thin or stout? Oof. I'm as yet unsure of his build. Can you tell me the color of his hair? He has black hair. Right? Do we call a young man like the one you describe? He wore a striped jersey with a number on it. I remember because when I remarked on it, he said he played rugby at a field near here. I'm afraid I don't recall the number. Well, so you gave me the clue I just had. <laughs> I would like to purchase some perfume. That would be good, sir. Do you have a scant in mind? Yes, I know the name. And what is the name? Or the same. That will be five shillings. Please come again. I guess I... Ah, look at or the same. For the... Flower girl! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, we have something for the flower girl. Let's meet her first before going to the rugby field. So, inventory. Give or the same to young flower girl. No, thank you. Talk with young flower girl. Blah, 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 blah. Talk. Looking for men, I don't have vaccinations now. Oh, odor. Not damn fool. It's what I got to say. 